Hi guys, this is a 1500 watts permanent magnet DC motor with a rated current of 9 amperes and a rated voltage of 180 volts DC. Now I've teamed up with PCBWay, a company where you can buy prototypes, SMD stem cells, flexible PCBs at the best price. Also guys, you are getting free first order, $5 coupon bonus and free universal boards. Free shipping will also be provided with assembled orders and all the necessary links have been provided in the description. So anyways guys, you can see here that I'm giving it a supply of 3.5 volts but the motor is not giving any response. So in this video, I'm going to operate it with just a 3.5 volts battery cell by making another small change. Many of you might have seen the video in which I tried to operate it with a 3.5 volts battery cell but was not successful even after giving it a push with my hands and finally I had to increase the input supply to 12 volts and then I had to give it a turn with my hands to start it. But here guys I have finally made the circuit 4 times more efficient just by changing the value of capacitor at the output. So guys here I am going to use a 5000 microfarad capacitor rated at 50 volts DC. You can see the negative sign indicated on one side of the capacitor and to this terminal I am going to connect the black crocodile clip from the circuit that I made and to the other clip obviously the positive will be connected. So this capacitor actually enhances the power output of the circuit four times the initial output and you should note that the capacitor that I previously connected which was a 1000 microfarad and 50 volts will still remain connected to the circuit so the total capacitance at the output will now be 6000 microfarad at 50 volts DC. Now I will connect the same 3.5 volts battery that I connected in my previous video and the only change as you can see for yourself is the additional capacitor added to the output of the circuit. Now as soon as I connect the terminals of the capacitor directly to the DC motor, the DC motor starts operating without any external force and not not only does it start but it also continues to run at the same RPM. So this not only improves the efficiency because in my previous video I had to give it a turn even after I placed a bigger battery which was 12 volts and in this circuit I have to just connect a 3.5 volts battery and I don't even have to give it a push and it still starts on its own. So as you can finally conclude from this video that the capacitors actually play a very important role in improving the output efficiency of your circuits and therefore it is really Really important for us to choose the capacitors wisely. So guys, here I am going to measure the output voltage of the circuit by connecting a multimeter when the input supply is just 3.5 volts DC. So guys, as you can see that there is not much change in the output voltage of the circuit after connecting this capacitor because in my previous video, the output voltage when I connected a 3.5 volts battery was around 19.5 volts DC and in this circuit it is 18.21 maximum. But still, the output power of the circuit has increased which means that at the cost of voltage, the current output has improved because of which the output power has increased much more than the previous case. So guys that would be all about the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching it. Please hit like and don't forget to share and subscribe. Thank you.